Hello, everybody. The Bishops of Canada have just concluded their 2021 Plenary Assembly meeting. And at the end of that gathering, we issued a statement of apology to the Indigenous peoples of this land. An apology which acknowledges the horrible suffering and pain endured through the Indian residential school system in which a number of religious communities, a number of dioceses and some Catholic lay people played a role. We acknowledge the pain, we acknowledge the abuses, we acknowledge the terrible legacy of hurt and trauma that endures to this day because of the residential school experience. I, like many other bishops over the past number of years, have issued a number of apologies, as have religious communities who were involved in the direction of the residential schools. But we wanted, as a group, to speak collectively, to speak wholeheartedly, and convey to the Indigenous peoples, to you, the Indigenous peoples of this country, our profound remorse. And as it says in the statement, we apologize unequivocally. We're really sorry. At the same time, we know that this doesn't end with the speaking of words. We sincerely hope and we pray that this apology will be understood and received as yet one more step, a positive step, that moves us all together along the path of reconciliation, the path of healing, the pathway of hope. And specifically as words of apology, we know, we as bishops know, that this, these have to be accompanied by concrete gestures that will actually put into action and give a tangible expression of our resolve to work with Indigenous peoples towards the healing and the reconciliation that everyone in Canada is seeking right now. Among the concrete actions that we propose to undertake as bishops is a commitment to raise $30 million over the next five years in support of programming that is Indigenous discerned and Indigenous led and which aims specifically at fostering healing and reconciliation. This is a firm commitment on the part of Canada's bishops. It's a national endeavor that will unfold through local efforts in regions across the country. So here in the Archdiocese of Edmonton, for, for example, I've assembled an advisory com cabinet composed of Indigenous women and men that will counsel me and help me to know what are the needs in this area, what programs exist, what initiatives might be brought into being, in order to serve that cause of healing and reconciliation in this area. Following from this consultation, that will give me, that will give all of us a clear idea of what our local contribution will be to this national effort. Reconciliation involves a lot of work. It's a long pathway and requires from all of us, above all, firm commitment and resolve. The bishops of Canada are committed. The bishops of Canada are resolute. I'm committed here in the Archdiocese of Edmonton to reach out to my friends in the Indigenous community and learn from them, hear them, receive their counsel and advice, so that together we will make this work. We will find the way forward. So I'd invite everybody, please, to join with me in prayer to Almighty God, to our Creator, that He'll inspire within all of us a clear understanding of what needs to be done, that the Creator will give to us the strength and the resolve to do what must be done, and that the Creator will also enable all of our efforts to find completion in ways that truly will serve reconciliation, healing, unity, and peace in our land. God bless.